What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Worldwide Shenanigans. We drove across the country, kept every receipt, and we're gonna tell you how much it costs. What? Ben and I spent one week driving across the country. While we could have made the trip shorter, we wanted to slow down and enjoy some of the cities. Yes, so before the road trip, I made a plan of what we wanted to see and where we wanted to go. So this was my road trip plan. It lists each city we wanted to visit, the date we'd be there, the times we'd be driving, and any fun trips we wanted to take along the way. We knew we wanted a very southern route because we were driving in January and wanted to avoid blizzards. Even though we failed and got caught in a blizzard in Texas. So now that you've seen the itinerary, let's check out the budget. This is the draft budget I made. With lodging, food, gas, and activities, the grand total is $766. Originally, this estimate was closer to $1,000, but we'll tell you how we recalculated some estimate costs. We're gonna go through each of these four categories and tell you what the actual cost was. First up, lodging. Months before it's time to make reservations, make sure you research the Airbnbs or hotels in the city where you're staying. Exactly, this way you have an estimate cost for each city. For example, I expected to spend around $100 a night in each city, but after researching, I found the average cost was way less. However, to get those lower rates, make sure you book early. Because of the pandemic, we were waiting and waiting to book our tickets, seeing if any restrictions between states changed. Exactly, because I was waiting for the pandemic, a lot of the options disappeared. So here's the actual cost. Nashville, $83. Memphis, $86. Dallas, $86. El Paso, $42. And Phoenix, $66. I want to note that I purposefully chose hotels or Airbnbs that fit our needs, like walking distance to the attractions we wanted to see, or that included parking. If you just need a bed, you could probably find cheaper. The second category is food. For eating and drinking along the way, we planned a mix of cheap or fancier options. Sometimes we wanted to eat fast food in the car, and other times we wanted to dine out in the cities that we were currently in. So if you're trying to save costs, then forego the fancier dinners. But we thought trying the local food and drinks was part of exploring the city. So some of our food actually counted as fun activities. With that in mind, here's what we spent on food every day. So I had budgeted $30 for food in each city, but here's the actuals. Mmm. Great place. Oh, Asheville restaurant was yeah, delicious. Yeah, that was good. Asheville. Oh, you for, love Sonic. first time having Sonic. Yeah, it was great. First time having Whataburger. What a meal. <laughs> so for the fast food chains, I listed the name. It was probably a lunch that we ate in the car, but the city name means that it was a nicer meal that we ate out. Or still technically eating in because of the pandemic. That is true. Next up is number three, gas. For gas, I got the estimate by doing the normal cost it takes to fill up Ben's car times the amount of days traveling. However, gas prices were so different in other states. Yeah. Well, it might cost $35 in DC, it could cost like $15 elsewhere. Yeah, and we didn't even fill up once every day. Some days we didn't get any gas, other days we had to fill up twice. That's true. Here's what we actually spent on gas. I budgeted $35 six times throughout the trip, but here's what we actually spent. A nice surprise. Yeah, cheaper. Oh. Ooh, fill up three. I don't think the receipt had the name. Gotta love loves. Loves. Oh yeah, and that $35 at the end is right after we crossed the California border. Guys, pro tip, fill up your gas before entering California. 
Once you cross the border, gas prices jump like a dollar more expensive. That was crazy. Thankfully, during a lot of our road trip, my car was averaging over 40 miles per gallon. The last category is activities. Woo! Originally, this estimate was more because we planned more activities. But due to the pandemic, sadly, a lot of those activities were shut down. Exactly. We had planned to go to a rodeo in Texas, it would have been so much fun. the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, sad. But this category now does include some unexpected costs, such as parking. Okay, so that's what I thought we'd do. The Country Music Hall of Fame and the National Civil Rights Museum. In Asheville, we paid for parking while we walked around and ate lunch. In Nashville, we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame for $52. And in Nashville, we bought a souvenir for around $7. In Memphis, we paid for parking for $25. Sheesh, and in Dallas, we paid for more parking for $16. And in Dallas, we bought another souvenir for $2. So what was the actual cost of our cross-country road trip? We've got all the receipts here, and the final cost is $807.02. Woo! Comparing this to the budget, we did come in slightly over budget. This was mostly due to lodging. As I said guys, book those rooms early. Yeah, lodging was over budget. Food was only slightly $12 over budget. Gas was way under budget. And the activities were a little over budget. Overall, we spent about $40 more than we planned, which I think is pretty good. Me too. So that's how much it cost us to drive from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles, California. We hope this helps you with your worldwide shenanigans.